Good afternoon, Windows experts. Today we're going to talk about Windows Millennium Edition. So the definition of Windows ME is in the Millennium Edition because it's of the new Millennium 2000. So that's why. The general release was on September 40, 2000 and the uh, release for manufacturing was on uh, June 90, 2000 as well. It is the last operating system of the 9X fam series family. The Windows uh, 9X family targeted on home PC users, so not companies but home PC users. The Windows Millennium Edition bringing new software like Internet Explorer updated in Windows Media Player and a new Movie Maker that's a software where you can build your videos to and to produce to make a report of it. Uh, in the Windows Millennium Edition there are also Windows 2000 functions. What was the fourth? Uh, uh, first it was planned to uh, stop the support on December 2004. They decided later to uh, adjust that to July 11, 2006. The OS, the operating system, is less popular because of the one year later release of Windows XP. In the first place, there was no uh, no plans to make a successor of the Windows uh, X family, which is the Windows 98 uh, operating system. Uh, originally, there was a new concept planned for Windows Neptune. But uh, that is postponed because of the failed project. Later they uh, decided to focus on a um, Millennium Edition, the code named Millennium. And they uh, released a free, free beta version. Uh, the first beta version uh, was uh, released on September 24, 1999. The next was two months later which have added game function, customized able uh, toolbars and menu. And there was a uh, beta 3 was released on April 11, 2000. Uh, these introduced, uh, which they introduced the new startup, the brand new startup after the Windows 98. Official release of September 40. Uh, they made up a campaign which uh, is from September 2000 till January 2001. It had a lower price than the other operating system, namely $60. There are new updates of the operating system, personalized options. There are new 60 bit color icons. We have more start and test menu uh, options. The hardware is also updated, like USB is updated, the faster boot up. We have new application like Movie Maker, Media Player, DVD Player, Image Preview, Games. The network is also upgraded, and also the system uh, you have a restore uh, function which you can uh, restore your, your files and you have better uh, file security so better it is uh, against the hackers and it will have automatically updates there are also removed features like the MS-DOS MS-DOS is uh, yeah, less popular so they decided to remove that they also uh, removed some applications like the Microsoft Fox Quick view and drive space. Windows Millennium Edition stay familiar as the worst operating system in the history of Microsoft. Uh, users don't like it to use that, so they uh, they keep on using Windows 98. So yeah, uh, at uh, reports they say it had to uh, afford to a better operating system that transitioned to um, MS DOS. Uh, removed was too big. It had a lot of bugs and glitches. Uh, the system requirements of the operating system. You need a Pentium processor with 15 megahertz, a random ASUS memory of 32 megabytes, free disk space of 320 megabytes. You need also input devices like all the computers. Uh, they recommend a microphone for Windows Movie Maker to use that for your videos. 
And now we're going, uh, we're going to the computer. So, we are on Windows Millennium Edition at the desktop. It was really hard to find a product key of the, uh, of the operating system. But I found it after f uh, 300 attempts, I think. It was really hard to do that. No, no one wants to use Windows Millennium Edition because it's so bad. But we are in the operating system and we're gonna try it. And yeah, you see the Windows Media Player is updated, Outlook Express for the email, and MSN uh, Internet Aces. Okay, not so much change because of the uh, Windows 9X family. A lot of similar things as uh, Windows 98 had. But you have Image Viewer, and that's a new new application. You can see your pictures and you can edit it to turn it around or small edits. And you have the dial up network. So you can uh, yeah call each other. This was an old function to call each other uh, with the internet. So yeah, that's... It was a problem that I and uh, nowadays we have telephone, so it was a lot easier now to call each other. Uh, at that time, you have a dial-up network, and that was really hard to call someone. Yeah, you have the calculator, as always, address book. I didn't know this on Windows 98, but yeah, you can uh, choose your contact your Williams. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is a new concept. So you can dial up and send a message. Internet call. So that was totally new. You've also got entertainment. The media player is updated. And it's a really strange. Oh. Really strange colors. How you pause it. Radio turner. You can also uh, listen to radio. And you can also build uh, playlists, the same as you do on Spotify nowadays. Security to let alert. There is more um, opportunity to secure your system. So more security. That's really fine. I thought that I saw something, but I think that's my pictures. Really bad quality of pictures. <laughs> you have the navigation sound here back. Just oh, that's just that. It's really strange when you pause it. It's uh, hanging on in the track. Why? Oh, you have the preview, but the resolution is too bad. Oh, you have the on-screen keyboard. So it's also new. And the graphics of this is bad. But this is a new function, you can type here something you want of uh, the Windows operating system. Oh, you have uh, Amazon Messenger service. You have to download it, but you need internet connection with it. And we don't have that now. Net meeting, this is also a new uh, network function. Uh, you communicate with others on the local internet. It's just like social media now. Uh, Windows Expo Movie Maker is also new. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of music in the programs. What you need to have nowadays. I want that music off. I don't care. We going to edit. I don't want that tour. It's really import. Okay, we have some pictures here. We're gonna make a better one. Okay, where are the effects? I want some effects in my video. Uh, I don't know. Pause. Close. Yes, I want to save it. I call it Project. But that was also a new application on Windows Millennium Edition. Oh, uh, the Asus series we have heard enough. We're gonna play a game. It is a lot easier to find a game on this operating system because in the previous uh, operating system I didn't get one game. 
because you had to download it. Now it's just on the operating system itself. Spider Solitaire, Pinball. The graphics are uh, really bad. Windows XP had a lot better graphics. I have to hold the space lower. Okay, the graphics are too bad. You have to refuse a bomb, but I don't know. Uh, the uh, number says how close you are with the bomb. Oh. You see that smiley? So. Okay, that's really scary. Uh. Shit. Um. You see the graphics of Windows Millennium Edition in the uh, File Explorer. Mm, I found that background really. really. Uh, boring so I choose for this yes okay I don't think that graphics are so good uh, so bad as this but I think it's just the operating system of the uh, how you call it uh, where I downloaded it so properties you have a screensaver a firebox why not uh, there's nothing more uh, especially about this operating system what I can say but I see uh, more internet options dial up so that's a new and uh, people uh, think this is the bad worst operating system I understand it but yeah it's I think because of the MS-DOS uh, was removed and everyone was used to MS-DOS so I think that's a part of the idea of the worst operating system so yeah it's not alone the operating system itself but the transition to not MS-DOS uh, for the rest uh, nothing special to say maybe it is easier to search for something so I searched for games the previous time on Windows 98 it was really hard and uh, on this operating system it's a lot easier already the same as Windows 98 but in Windows 98 there are many of less of bugs than this one but um, thanks for watching to this uh, operating system review by Windows Expert so uh, thank you for that and I see you in the next video not Windows XP but Windows Longhorn because XP I already did it in October so thanks